Welcome back, Betsy's, for the final chapter of the quarry. Uh, we left off with, I believe it was Laura, Travis, and Ryan, uh, covered in blood after a massive fight. Um, but yeah, so we, we left off with them. I don't know where they're going to put us when we get into this uh, last chapter, but it's probably going to round everything off. We're going to figure out what happened to everybody uh, and go from there. <laughs> I am so pumped to finish this game, uh, but yes, uh, let's just dive on in to this final chapter. I'll see you guys at the end. Ooh, chapter 10. Bricks and mortar. Okay. Oh, well, there's Max. fall again. What? How the hell am I gonna get down? Irony! Asked an answer. Uh. Oh my goodness. On the island. Do you remember where you are? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna have to wear Laura's clothes. Because <laughs> Emma took his. Clothes. <laughs> he totally has to wear Laura's clothes. I'm so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Gotta find Laura. Oh my god, this is glorious. Oh, it's the those. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, I agree. Life would have been a lot easier. Oh my god. I adore this. Uh, I guess I just go this way. I'm actually surprised we get to play Max. See, now if Emma had just gone through the other bag, <laughs> she would have had close, close. Or like, I guess, feminine clothes, not... Oh. Oh, we get Laura's hat? Let's go. She must have come back. She did, and then you chomped her, my dude. Oh, yeah. We're, we're rocking Laura's fit. Let's go. See... But the thing is, Max is literally safe where he is. He, uh... If he leaves here, the werewolves can get him, though. So Silas and Caleb. Yeah, no, I... To be honest, I think Max should just stay here. I wonder if that's an option. Oh, it is! Yeah, no, 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 no. You, you stay there. You are 110% safe there. No, no, no. I'm happy that was an option. Okay. Perfect. Okay. The table. Help me. Wait. I thought... I mean, I guess. Yeah. This works. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? 
<laughs> you just fucking Great. Yeah. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. Well, I guess there's still three right. people. We gotta get a vantage point. Well, three, technically? Um... Actually... Oh, this store's... Wait a minute. Why are these unblocked? Fill and move! chance to investigate this before. <gasps> What's that? Nice to put a name to a big name face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Let's say Bobby Hackett. Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Mr. H's <laughs> Dead. Oh, it doesn't like show me anything about it? Okay. Whatever I mean. What's this? Mm. Investigation. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. So there were actually kids that like stayed in the cabin cabin. Okay. Okay, what's up here? This is like the attic attic. There's even stuff up here? Oh! Open them so bad. Anything over? No. Okay. Oh, I was actually. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Diligence of the way. <laughs> okay. Uh. Onward. I hope Zuba away. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting to find a card. Wait, what is that? Are we looking at the foundry? How thing? long has this guy been here? Ooh, I did want to click this because. Oh, I've missed so much! Take the infection with your non human. Oh! I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to find out either. <laughs> wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking. Oh, my newest lunchbox. When the heck is for your surgery? Come here, he was responsible for poisoning the court all those years ago. Oh. I mean, I've only missed. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> wait, why are these, like. Surgery for sale, civil boy for six years. Oh, so these are all, like. Oh. 
Oh, so can you still put them with the right hand? Oh, okay. I have missed like a decent amount. Oh, why? Why are those ones yelling at me though? That's my question. So some of these have just like updated as we went. Why are these like? I almost have all of the camp history though, so I did really good with that one. Just not the other ones. <laughs> a long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> what? Maybe I should keep looking. Prepare for attack? What does that mean? Oh, hey. Oh, no. Wait, where is... Where is Mr. Hackett's, uh, office? Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? <laughs> well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? <laughs> hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh -huh. Bummer. I like how that said prepare for attack though. Like what? Ciao, Ryan. Coming through. Mm. It's on this side of the thing of, of the life. But see, where's Chris Hackett's uh area. Oh. I can't read what Where it says. I've never seen this emblem before. Which was thrown off a shovel of the inscription reveals that it belonged to Bobby Hackett. Oh. Oh, as I'm getting more. I definitely know I missed a lot of this. I'm probably going to go back and 100% this game at some the point. The crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Ah! I'm sorry. Oh, Dylan. Such a funny guy. Funny, funny. What's this? I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Please don't tell me I'd Careful pause something that's early. A camp relic. <laughs> Relax. It's dead anyway. Ah. Uh, R.I.P. Megaphone. <laughs> okay. Um. Anything else? Here that is. Oh. This. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. They are. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room, he's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Just meet up with everybody. They got the truth. Oh. Wow, I have not been, I don't feel like I've been getting a lot of evidence. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest. This clock seemed important, but it's not, okay. Okay. Well, I guess prepare for attack then? It sounds so ominous. Attack! Wait, what? Go, 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 Dylan. Damn. Blocking me. But where's Abby? Can I find Abby? Oh, it, it won't let me downstairs. Okay. Prepare for attack. 
back, I guess. Uh... So, where is Abby? She was in Chris's, like, room. Have was she you not? Have you through the summer? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That means for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> Dylan and Max would have been best friends. That sounded different. Oh. Showtime, motherfuckers. Where's Abby, though? Abby's up there. Because she went up. Oh, Jacob. Fuck this whole night. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> oh, Jacob. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> like, he literally knows what's going on. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Please don't tell me that's the last we see of Jacob. <laughs> oh no. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No. We're safer in here and it's no. We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Oh. What the Uh, run? I vote run. Start running. Run. Run. Okay, let's go, let's go. Doors locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Why are her eyes so red? Like legit. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. Oh, she better pass. Uh, I feel like beam is better. Come on. Come on. Waiting for a QTE, waiting for a QTE. Anybody waiting for a QTE? Come on. Okay, this is kind of a QTE.
didn't mean to run. Fudge biscuits. <sighs> really? No. I feel like I did that wrong. I feel like I did it wrong. I feel like I did that wrong. I feel like I did that wrong. I feel like I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I meant to hit investigate. I have a feeling she's dead. Mm. But I also feel like... at the beginning of the game! Let's go! You play with me? Oh, okay, thank... Oh, I was so nervous! I think I thought because I didn't get the silver stuff, I was screwed! Talking mushrooms. Oh, holy shiz. Okay, we're playing this Laura. No touchy. So, what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy which i've just put together is silas oh shit it's yep. a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him burn <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. <sighs> so how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? I think we found him. It doesn't do anything. You have to kill him with silver. Where did he go? So he kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? <laughs> You're okay. Her hair's messed up. Been better, but 
Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Yeah, her hair's messed up. Leads Why is it like there. cut? What happened? Hello? <laughs> hair? What the hell happened back here? Whoa. Oh. This is where we went off the road two months ago. Yes, ma'am. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? I didn't want to shoot you in the head, Normally, actually. I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yes. Let's fucking do this. Yes. Go team. Wait, couldn't we use like the blood for somebody? No? Okay. Do I have to find some? God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Oh, snap. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Snap. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Oh, no. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn? Liza? Whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Yikes! Burn, baby. Okay. This, this is all that's left. 
Jesus Christ. <gasps> What's her face had werewolf blood? Oh. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Hair keeps tweaking in and out. <laughs> Ryan? Ooh. Ooh. Shit. I'm sorry, that was close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Sam. That must be it. Ooh. Careful. Oh. Fucking Jesus Christ. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Stop. Are you sure about this? Shoot. so bad at me please let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form it's too late for that Oh, she's gonna be hate me. She's gonna hate me. She's gonna hate me. She's gonna hate me. Or she's not even gonna be there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, she's gonna hate me. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. <laughs> I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the oh, no. shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Now we have a ghost for life, y'all. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Ever kept everyone alive. Hey, let's go! No, but Thanks. 
had the night Max was cute in the word of Chris when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with the shoulder shield. Shoulder shield. Baby, don't you know? <gasps> Bobby! Bobby's able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, and werewolf from. Let's go, Bobby! Thanks to Bobby fending off werewolf Chris, Baby, Judd survived the attack at Hackett House. <gasps> Constance was protected when her son Bobby fought off her werewolf son Chris. Ayy. Oh. Killed by his favorite cancer, Ryan shot him a silver. I'm sorry! Perfect, Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for a werewolf Chris. Jacob! Successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Let's go! <gasps> Nick! Night when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf Chris was lifted. So that means he got bit by Caleb. Made to safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Yeah! Survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Ha-ha! <laughs> survived by laying Caleb into the freezer using the last rabbit to the baby. Let's go! Good to see Sunrise thanks to Caitlin trapping Caleb in the freezer! Caleb Hackett sees his house and lost his world with being frozen. Well, yeah. survived the encounter with Silas, and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Yeah. 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 When he shot Chris, he managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Let's go! Or killed Silas instead of a child, carrying every infected person who survived the night. Which ultimately was just Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or killed Silas in a way that does. The curse of Hackett's worry is broken. Yeah. Oh? Whose cars are those? Uh, I don't know. Wait, so... I'm guessing with the choice for Caleb... Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. <laughs> Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is very on I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so that? I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? <laughs> yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. <laughs> anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Mm -hmm. Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what ah! I really meant is, <laughs> let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. <laughs> oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see 
true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need oh, to Oh, is it all the evidence I got throughout the night? or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Uh, not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be uh, more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. Oh. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh, in uneven... It's like the one time... Uh, Row I'll of sit through credits. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No. Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My mm. sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then... Shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if this, like... Yep. Their great 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 grandparents were trappers the ending, who like, claimed the, the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. <laughs> well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all <laughs> these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Next, we have this empty vial. Thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of... This, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My yeah. God, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. 
Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay. Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to <laughs> oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear that is a bear to you there is no way that is a bear okay well it uh, a skinny bear okay this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this i've ever seen right it's kind of blurry though blurry and convincing sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep bear. saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them though, they're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <laughs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors, Emma Mountbank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my god, is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. Are we gonna what go through all happened? of the evidence? I can... More than what we're being told. Did... Man. There's something else too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's what? quarry. I see? Don't see it. Full circle. I mean, that could be anything, dude. It it barely even looks like a person. What's what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay. Then what do you think of this? What's that? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it. Oh, really. it's the goop I found. I took a picture human. of the goop. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, yeah. it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so no. to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, my God. I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. <laughs> I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest, and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, oh I just mean gosh. I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, uh, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I want. I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. <laughs> Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we got to send this stuff oh to the goodness. police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just 
look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? They sure, we can speculate, like but that. we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just <laughs> launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Unidentified animals loose in Northfield Forest? Well, that that was the end of the quarry. <laughs> uh, kind of saw it happening. We ended up uh, shooting the uh, the wolf boy Silas. Uh, healed ever? Oh, not healed, but cured everybody technically. Although the last one alive that was infected was Caleb, and then he ended up dying in the freezer anyways. But I think in that case he was he was gone either way because it was either I got silver bullets or he went in the freezer. So whichever. Um, but yeah. I, I really enjoyed this game. I like the whole butterfly effect thing where like if you do certain things in one chapter, it comes back in the next chapter. Uh, and then I also liked being able to hear the podcast at the end of the game that like showed off all of the evidence you found in the game. So I think if I had found all of it, it would have been different. Um, and I liked how that once the podcast was over, the, the newspaper changed in the background too again, where it was like mysterious animals and stuff. But either way... Uh, but if you guys like the run through, please like and subscribe. Uh, also, uh, if these videos get, have gotten enough love and everything, uh, I'm thinking about playing either Until Dawn or the, uh, anthologies. Uh, and then just kind of go from there, uh, or else just go on to a completely different kind of scary, spooky series again. I got a few. Uh, but I will wait to see. But thank you guys for watching the quarry. I appreciate it. And I will see you with the next series soon. Bye-bye.